So on this panel, what was Ziad uh, uh, hoping to achieve? He was talking about, uh, did it sound to you like he was trying to blame Israel for the problems in the Middle East conflict? I, I, I don't think he really intended to blame Israel, uh, but he does feel that there are superior strategic approaches to the defense of Israel, and uh, he was pointing to the extremity of the peril of Israel, and it's possible he doesn't understand well enough uh, Israel's defenses and its strategies and the commitment of the U.S., to, at least under current conditions, to Israel's defense. And I think this is indispensable to America's defense. I think the Iron Dome and other uh, Israeli technologies are critical to the United States, to South Korea. Uh, they're important around the world. And, and I think um, Ziad didn't quite comprehend the full range of Israeli options available. But of course, uh, we all understand that it's uh, dangerous to have hundreds of missiles pointed at you, and, uh, <laughs> and Israel will have to face that peril as we do. And, and I think Israel, it's, you know, it's an Israel test for the United States. And, uh, when, when, you, when you call it the Israel test for the United States, you're implying that it's a, a, a moral or ethical test of resentment for, uh, for one who does better in a race. That's right. I mean, I, I think that uh, anti-Semitism is essentially resentment toward greater achievement, greater intellectual capability, greater uh, accomplishment. and. Uh, and Israel led the world in economic growth the fourth quarter last year and is, uh, is way ahead of the world in technological progress, e even absolutely, not even per capita. Uh, you know, that's debatable, but it's... Uh, and uh, the whole new uh, development in finance of cryptocurrencies are... Uh, Israel is a leader in the world outside of Silicon Valley in yes. cryptocurrency inventions and advances. And so it's, uh, you know, the U.S. just has to understand that Israel is the crooks of uh, the problem in the Middle East. It's, that is, it's, but it's the redemption of the Middle East and an opportunity, not just a problem. And, and, and it's also a resource, a huge and indispensable resource for America's greatest companies. So with that, even if it, as Israel is coming up with cures to diseases and tests and yeah. in, incredible steps in, uh, in, in helping humanity, yeah. as you claim, which is the point, but for a culture, the Muslim culture, who has, which has been bred on, uh, on the notion of uh, a victimhood against uh, those who rejected Allah, in the same way that Christians w were raised uh, uh, through the Middle Ages on, uh, on the Christ killers, is it possible, do you feel, for the Muslim world to overcome their, even today, inculcated prejudices against the, uh, the enemies of Muhammad? Well, uh, the Christians in the United States offer strong testimony that uh, the a massive support for Israel and massive opposition to anti-Semitism. And so uh, if Christians can uh, overcome the previous uh, sentiments, I think it's possible for Muslims too as world progress continues and more and more people see the upside of capitalism and 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 peace over uh, some uh, terrorist fantasy but Israel isn't supported by all denominations of the church the Presbyterians Episcopalians oh, they're, they're all these there are a whole bunch of uh, dying liberal establishment churches that uh, that are just branches of the Democratic Party now. They, they really don't have any real support, but overwhelmingly Christians in the United States support Israel. If you uh, look at the polls, the Pew findings, and, uh, and it's uh, one of the reasons why the Republican Party is so uh, committed to Israel.
But what are the prospects that the Muslim world can overcome this uh, this hate, which the the leaders you have? Know, used? It, it's really we got to win. You know, we just got to win, and uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, it, with Israel, the world's fastest growing economy, uh, and uh, with the most sophisticated defenses increasingly, I think we can win. And and uh, the bi the greatest vulnerability, I think, is the United States. I mean, but uh, luckily we missed uh, a Hillary administration, and not to be too polit po political about this, but but the but the the United States does have a tendency to just have a bizarre misconceptions about uh, Israel's behavior and Israel's military stance and, and uh, Israel's um, aggressiveness or whatever. Uh, and uh, I think we already, ha you know, there's already a three-state solution with Gaza is a Palestinian state. Jordan is a Palestinian state. The West Bank is part of Jordan? Yeah, I mean, Jordan, Jordan is a Palestinian. And West Bank? And the West Bank is part of Israel and, uh, and should be as time passes, as the Israeli economy expands, as the Israeli population expands. Uh, uh, it's going to absorb the West Bank. Uh, and, uh, and, I, and Jordan, uh, which is a Palestinian state, it has one tenth of the population density as Israel, and, and almost the same topography, and so it's it, it's really uh, you know the idea the two state solution is long uh, past as a possibility, and and it's going to have to involve something with Jordan and maybe Lebanon, and uh, you know we'll see, uh, but. As Israel, Israel every year becomes more powerful in relation to its adversaries every year.